And that is a film that uh, did quite well at the box office. That is Twins, and there's already talk of a Twins 2 around Hollywood. Another new home video release is Mike Nesmith's Tape Heads. Like Nesmith's previous offerings, Elephant Parts and uh, Nez Music, Tape Heads is a lighthearted blend of music as well as comedy. Movie Time recently spoke with the former Monkey guitarist, asked him what the future holds for home video. Here's a look. Michael Nesmith, hailed as America's most versatile non-actor, presents Dr. Duck's super-secret all-purpose sauce. This is just one of the many unique titles offered under Michael Nesmith's video wing of Pacific Arts Entertainment, a company Nesmith created in order for people to access a variety of good information in a new and different way. It was also smart from a business standpoint because I wasn't in a horsepower race with these other big guns like Paramount and Warner Brothers and those guys. And I found my own little little trail to blaze. Um, so it was a mixture of, uh, of my own personal uh, use of the VCR, seeing where the VCR fit in everybody else's life, and just some business savvy uh, that's, that's made me carve this little thing. And how you would identify it is, is still, I'm not sure, maybe it's the PBS of home video or something like that. concept of MTV, Nesmith is called by many the foremost video visionary of today. He strongly believes that video is culturally important to us, but there are some who will disagree. I think there's a lot of people that still view it as trivial, you know, and they think, well, it's good for babysitting, you know, well, okay, fine, that's a trivial use of it. Well, it's good to watch a movie again, well, fine, but that's a trivial, trivial use of it. But the important thing to remember is that it carries information in such a dense way that it allows the conveyance of sophisticated, deep information to people who can't read. Now what's, what has become uh, the use, I think, is, is what I call the third wave, which is where you reach out to the VCR for information and where you, you look at it to uh, uh, find uh, what is, uh, can expand your own horizons. And you begin to look at the, at the video cassette as a book. Nesmith's video publishing plans include launching video magazines for women, children, and special interest groups. I don't think you should abandon your one's ability to read, but I'm not the least bit concerned about the MTV generation uh, because uh, I think it's uh, it's not the effect of the MTV of MTV on the generation. It's going to be the effect of the generation on MTV that really is important. And and to me, that's there's a. Uh, uh, I see a great hope there. In the area of film production, Nesmith's most recent project was executive producing Tape Heads, an offbeat comedy starring John Cusack and Tim Robbins. Tape Heads is one of those films I really feel like fighting for uh, because it, it carries a lot in it. It's a smart movie, it's a funny movie, it's got sensational music, it has all the creative elements that you, that you want it to have. It's a wonderful, fun movie to watch, it's a great party movie. And the reason I want people to see it is because I think if we could, if, if in some way people can get introduced to this form of music and comedy and approve of it and support it, that it'll make more of them. And I think that's going to be a, a, a tremendous art form to emerge. Looking into the future, maybe five or more years, Nesmith predicted how communication will change further. We're going from a period of time as the town crier, where one person stands up and yells to 5,000, to the town as crier, where all 5,000 people talk to all 5,000 people. And quite frankly, I'll be happy if I'm one of those 5,000 people communicating clearly. That is Mike Nesmith on Movie Time. Coming up, welcome back, Cotter's Lawrence Hilton Jacobs crosses over to home video.